G'day guys, Brisbane Brothers. Brothers here, Aussie and Dan's. Today we're going to show you how to measure stroke on a Ford V8 engine. We're doing it today with a Cleveland, same principle for a winter. Alright so guys. Basically guys, you need a few things. You need a 15-16 um, is the size for the bolt on the centre of the harmonic balancer to turn the motor. So sometimes it's a bit tricky getting to it, you might need um, certain length adapters. Generally I use the six medium, inch. medium adapter, 6 inch, to get in there in front of the turn the motor. You need to drop the spark plug out, so you need a 5-8 um, spark plug out. If you're dropping number one, you don't even need the spark plug socket. You can get easy get access there to it, so drop the spark plug out. You need an indicator to measure the stroke. We're going to use a dipstick. We're going to use a pen to mark the bottom and the top of the stroke. As a, at a known point on, off the head, and then we're going to measure it. So I do it. So I get onto the front of the motor. Spark plugs ready out. All right. So another little bit of trivia I'm going to mention here, guys, is this engine is actually a um, 302 Cleveland. Now we know because it's a P code. We know because the lady that we brought it off told us. Also because it's got a C4 and not the nine inch in the back which was the Australian combo, but the engine was rebuilt by Gem Engines, so you never can be too sure. So what we're going to do today is quickly measure the stroke, but before that I'll just give you a little bit of trivia for a lot of our fans watching from the States. A lot of people aren't aware they actually made a 302 Cleveland in Australia. That's right, 302 Cleveland, not a winter. It's exactly the same block and intake manifold and dizzy and everything most of the accessories except the cylinder head has a closed chamber and the stroke on the crank is three inches instead of three and a half so what i can actually do quickly is put a little excerpt i've got a rusty 302 crank just sitting over here generally the 302 cranks will say 302 on them don't know if you can see that there and if you look at them well, we've got a pretty keen eye. You can generally see that they've got a smaller throw. <laughs> Shut up, Clefo. He doesn't like 302s at all, does he? He's actually upset that they even waste some time looking at it. There is a little bit of riding on one of these counterweights here on the back. And generally on the 302s, see there, 302. Generally here it says 6303A should be a bit hard to see on the end there. R Dyer 6303A and the 351's the B. Okay, so I've gone through that spark plug hole on the Cleveland's and Windsor's number one is over here on the left hand side when you're looking at the motor from the front. One to four at the back here, over the other side, five at the front to eight at the back. extension to get the right length sometimes you have to have, to have it half engaged So I'm finally on, it's just a little while there. All right, so we're gonna coming up. keep turning until we get to the, either the bottom or the top, where it stops moving, move, moving in either direction. So it's coming up. Keep going till it stops coming up. Hardly any space here, so it's a bit... That's, that's bit going back down. So yep. Back it off a tad. I saw about a millimetre of movement back down, so we'll just to get it accurate, we'll have to go back to the rock point. Yep, it's okay, going yep. back down, so just go forward just at B's. Yep, Let's right there. Some half of that spot. So what I do, just to make it easy guys, I get a um, permanent marker and I'll mark a known point like this rocket cover rail here. Nice stripe right across. 
beautiful. That's good. Now I just keep spinning the motor. To the bottom rock point. I'm gonna go down. I'll, ch I'll chase the piston down. We purchased this as a 302, guys, but it's a gem engine. So we're just checking, just to make sure it's not a 51. The lady made the comment. They might have given me a 351 because it loped around a fair bit at the lights and a lot of people wanted to race her and were like, you never know, she was a very nice person. If they had, that was all that was available. There wasn't much value difference at the time. It's only a big value difference now. So I was common to get a Cleveland swapped 02451. Okay, is that it? I think, yep, okay, that's coming back. back up. Yep, go back. Yep, right there it feels like. <laughs> exactly the rock point here too. Okay, wait till so I go back the other to way, yeah. the very bottom. Right there. there, that's it. So measure that on the rail. So we've got the very top and the very bottom of the stroke. We've had known a known measuring point. She's a uh, 302, guys. 302, boys. 302. Three inch stroke. 75 mil, three inch. Beautiful. Just making sure, guys. 351, you'd want 89, you'd want it up here near the 90. It's that easy, guys. You definitely hate how easy that was. You would hate to be an idiot and not check it, and then to sell it as a 302 and it's a 351. Uh, we hey, know, guys. We know. A few of you that have done it. Thanks for watching, guys. Pretty easy. That's Make it. sure you smash that like and subscribe, also, boys. Oh, wait, hang on a too. minute. If they're watching a video on a Ford V8, they probably want to hear it, eh? Oh, what do you have? Hang right. on. Let's make sure everything's off. Spark plug back in. So this got dropped off on a truck today we picked it up yesterday fairly good price sat around since 2014 so we um, had to undo a bit of fuel hose which is a little piece back here just, I'll just uh, grab that we had to undo that fella there she was a bit dodgy and if, it, if something sat around for longer than like 12 months, maybe two years, if you smell the fuel and it smells at all funky, what you want to do is run from the fuel pump through new hose into a jerry can. So we're running clean 98 octane in the engine. So that was just a quick five minutes there. We heard a bit of a noise initially with the um, compressor winding it around. So we've just taken the belt off there. That's a good tip. So we've topped up the water, which was a bit low, and it was actually coolant in there, which was nice. And um, gave it a bit of a crank, but what Dan noticed is a lot of rust has fallen off of the bonnet, and it's ended up going into the carby. So lucky, before we went and brought it, Dan said, don't actually start it, leave it for us to try and start. Because if they turned it on and they blipped that throttle, rust would have gone down into the engine. Would have been game over. See, there's still a little bit of crap here. Dan's got a magnet, reached in, cleaned it all out. Then we um, wound it over just to get fuel pressure up, just cranking it, and it was pissing out of the rear needle and seat here. So Guys, what was a good sign to me was it actually had a base and a lid, so it was sealed, right? See, the base is in pretty good so, nick. Base, lid, and it had a thing sealed, and there's no holes in the bonnet. But I did notice the flake hitch, so the guy just having well, a little Well, there is look. some holes way up the front there, but... So not, guys, not cars, cars like these are so tricky. Just having a look to try and help us to even... Uh, before I made contact, he got flakes in there. You'll be something very super aware about. So as soon as that's off, flakes go straight in. It's a bit of a pain to pull them off the throttle blades, but I got them out big chunks. Nice, bro. Make sure you have one of these in date ready to go, guys. All times doing risky stuff like this, you never know. Even though you can have like rags and stuff like that, and quickly, quite easily get out of hand. So we got fire extinguisher ready. Too. Very good tip. Fuel source ready. You want to heat it with a bit of start, yo? Yeah. Oh, do you want to hold this and I'll and I'll crank? Hi guys, so I've actually put a little bit of fuel into the vent there. Fills up the bowl. Let's a bit of start, yo. Yeah. The 
debris flying into your face when it comes on, got me. Too much, you're gonna lose the fuel line. Yep, it's a beauty. Beauty. Awesome, bro. There you go, guys. Oh, yeah. Did I nearly drive right away from There's the There's only a little bit of excess hose there, bro. You took it to the end of the tether. But she's a beauty. Fully worked, you see. Beauty. Oh, Come on, a bit. Hooks happy. 